Did Adolf Hitler, one of the most notorious figures in history, really die in his bunker in 1945, or did he manage to escape and live out his days in obscurity? This question, folks, has sparked countless debates, investigations, and yes, conspiracy theories that have intrigued us for decades. Delve into the murky depths of history with us, as we explore the enigma that surrounds the death of Adolf Hitler. You may be familiar with the commonly accepted narrative. As World War II neared its end in the spring of 1945, Adolf Hitler, alongside his wife Eva Braun, committed suicide in his bunker in Berlin. This account is backed by substantial historical evidence and is widely accepted by historians worldwide. But let's step into the world of what-ifs for a while. What if Hitler didn't die in that bunker? What if instead, he managed to escape the clutches of the Allies, leading a life of obscurity somewhere far away from the war-torn streets of Berlin? These alternative narratives, while often dismissed as mere conspiracy theories, have managed to persist, fueled by inconsistencies, unverified accounts, and the occasional piece of evidence that seems to contradict the official story. Some of these theories even suggest that Hitler's survival was linked to the occult or UFO beliefs, adding an extra layer of intrigue to an already complex issue. The discovery of a skull fragment in 2009, initially believed to be Hitler's, which was later confirmed to be a woman's, added more fuel to the conspiracy theories. While historians and scientific evidence have debunked these theories time and again, the allure of the unknown and the unsaid keeps drawing us back. So, if Hitler died in his bunker in 1945, why do so many conspiracy theories suggest otherwise? It seems the end may just be the beginning of another fascinating journey into the annals of history. Stay with us as we dig deeper into this mystery in the upcoming scenes. The seeds of doubt were planted almost immediately following the announcement of Hitler's death. The world was still drawing a collective sigh of relief, the smoke from the battlegrounds of World War II was yet to clear. And then, whispers of conspiracy theories started to echo through the corridors of history. The early theories were like sprouts in a field of uncertainty. They were not yet fully formed but they held the potential for an entirely different narrative of Adolf Hitler's fate. These theories did not emerge out of nowhere. They were fueled, to a large extent, by Soviet disinformation. Yes, you heard that right. The Soviets, who were among the key players in bringing an end to Hitler's reign, were also instrumental in sowing the seeds of doubt about his death. There was a strange irony in the situation. The Soviets were the first to enter Berlin, the first to reach the Führer bunker, where Hitler was believed to have spent his last days, yet, they were also the ones who started spreading rumors about his possible escape. They claimed to have found no definitive proof of Hitler's death, no body, no definitive death certificate, nothing that could put a full stop to the speculations. These early theories were further fueled by the lack of a definitive death certificate for Hitler. The German government, in the chaos that followed the end of the war, failed to provide a document that could conclusively prove Hitler's demise. This lack of official documentation left a void, a void that was quickly filled by conspiracy theories. These theories proposed a range of possibilities. Some suggested that Hitler had escaped to Argentina or Spain, others claimed that he had taken refuge in the remote corners of the Soviet Union. There were even theories that proposed that Hitler had managed to reach as far as Antarctica. But these theories were not just flights of fancy, they were rooted in the confusion and paranoia that followed the end of World War II. They were fed by the fear of Hitler's return and the dread of another war. They were sustained by the human tendency to question, to doubt, and to seek the truth, no matter how elusive it might be. But as the years went on, these theories didn't just fade away, they evolved. They transformed from whispers in the dark to a part of popular culture. They sparked debates, inspired books and movies, and continued to fuel the human fascination with the unknown. And as we delve deeper into these theories, you'll see just how far the rabbit hole goes. In the decades following World War II, stories of Hitler's survival became more elaborate and far-reaching. As the dust of the war settled and the world began to rebuild, the whispers of Hitler's fate grew louder and more varied. From the bunkers of Berlin to the far reaches of the globe, these stories took on a life of their own. In the heart of South America, for example, some claimed that Hitler had found refuge. Argentina, with its history of welcoming German immigrants, became a focal point for these theories. Others suggested that Hitler had sought sanctuary even further afield, in the icy wilderness of Antarctica. These theories, while certainly dramatic, lacked solid evidence. Yet they continued to circulate, capturing the public's imagination and fueling the mystery surrounding Hitler's demise. 
But the theories didn't stop at geographic escapades. Some people began to weave intricate narratives that tied Hitler's survival to elements of the occult. These theories suggested that Hitler had harnessed dark forces to cheat death, escaping not only the Allied forces but the very clutches of mortality itself. Similarly, the mid-20th century saw a surge in interest in unidentified flying objects, or UFOs. This cultural phenomenon didn't escape the orbit of Hitler's survival theories. Some theorists proposed that Hitler had escaped Earth entirely, whisked away by extraterrestrial allies. While these theories may seem outlandish, they speak to the human fascination with the unknown, and our tendency to fill gaps in our knowledge with fantastical explanations. Despite the lack of credible evidence these theories have persisted, but why? Conspiracy theories by their very nature, thrive on uncertainty and mistrust. They feed on our innate desire for answers and explanations, especially when faced with complex historical events like Adolf Hitler's demise. Why do people believe in conspiracy theories? Well it's not as simple as it seems, the human mind is a labyrinth and our beliefs are shaped by a myriad of factors. To start with, our brains are wired to find patterns. We naturally seek order in the chaos of the world around us. When faced with an event as monumental and as shocking as Hitler's suicide, it's not surprising that some would look beyond the official narrative for answers. Moreover, conspiracy theories offer simple explanations where reality offers complexity. They provide a clear narrative, a definitive good and evil, a sense of closure. In the case of Hitler's death, the theory that he escaped and lived a quiet life somewhere else is far simpler and more satisfying for some than accepting the brutal reality of his suicide in a bunker. But there's more to it than just our brain's love for patterns and simplicity. Conspiracy theories can also be a tool to promote political or ideological agendas. By casting doubt on the official narrative, they can serve to undermine trust in institutions and authorities, paving the way for alternative ideologies to take root. In the post-war period, theories about Hitler's escape were fueled by Cold War politics and the desire to discredit the opposing side. Furthermore, believing in conspiracy theories can give individuals a sense of being in the know, of possessing secret knowledge that sets them apart from the rest. It can be empowering, a way of asserting control in a world that often feels beyond our grasp. So where does this leave us in our quest to understand what really happened to Adolf Hitler? While conspiracy theories can be enticing, it's important to approach them with a healthy dose of skepticism. Let's dive into the skeptic's perspective, shall we? Now it's no secret that conspiracy theories can be thrilling, and the mystery surrounding Adolf Hitler's death has certainly fueled many of them. But it's crucial to remember the importance of evidence and scientific inquiry in separating fact from fiction. Starting with the most concrete evidence we have, let's consider the discovery of a skull fragment in 2009. Initially believed to be Hitler's, it caught the attention of conspiracy theorists worldwide, but later, it was confirmed to be a woman's, causing a stir in the conspiracy theory community. However, it's worth noting that this doesn't necessarily support the belief that Hitler survived. In fact, it's crucial to remember that absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Just because the skull fragment wasn't Hitler's doesn't mean he escaped Berlin. It's a logical leap that overlooks other possibilities, such as the fragment being from another person who died in the bunker. Furthermore, the theories of Hitler's escape were largely fueled by Soviet disinformation. At the time, the Soviets had a vested interest in sowing doubt and mistrust among the Allied forces. It's not beyond reason to consider that these rumors were intentionally spread for political gain, rather than being based on any substantial evidence. Moreover, the consensus among historians and scientific evidence overwhelmingly supports the narrative that Hitler did indeed commit suicide in his bunker in 1945. Independent investigations and reports have confirmed this, including dental records and witness accounts from those present in the bunker during Hitler's final days. While it's human nature to question and seek answers, it's equally important to critically evaluate the sources of our information, the motivations behind them, and the evidence supporting them. Conspiracy theories often thrive in the absence of complete information and exploit our desire for more exciting narratives. But often, the truth lies not in the extraordinary, but in the mundane. As tempting as it may be to believe in these conspiracy theories, the evidence suggests that Hitler did in fact die in his bunker in 1945. Remember, skepticism is a tool for honing in on the truth, not a barrier to it. Despite the evidence, the conspiracy theories surrounding Hitler's death continued to captivate the public's imagination. 
Why is that, you might ask? Well, it seems that the human mind has an insatiable appetite for the mysterious and unexplained. It's the allure of the unknown, the thrill of the chase for truth that keeps these theories alive and well. There's something irresistible about a good conspiracy theory, especially one as dramatic as Adolf Hitler's supposed escape from Berlin. It's a narrative filled with suspense, intrigue, and the tantalizing prospect of a world-altering secret. And let's not forget, it's a story that flies in the face of the established historical record, challenging our perception of what we know to be true. The role of media and popular culture in perpetuating these theories cannot be understated. Movies, books, and internet forums are rife with speculation, each adding a new twist to the tale, each fueling the fires of curiosity. They present a narrative that dares to question the official account, that dares to suggest that perhaps, just perhaps, Hitler survived. Adding to the mix are high-profile figures making controversial statements that play into these theories. Take for instance the recent reports about Kanye West's alleged admiration for Hitler. While such statements are rightly condemned they nevertheless keep Hitler's name in the headlines and, by extension, the conspiracy theories about his death. And then there are events like the Capitol Riot, where symbols and ideologies of the past rear their ugly heads, reminding us that history, in all its complexity, is never truly left behind. These instances serve to keep the memory of Hitler and his reign of terror alive, and with it, the fascination with his death. The truth may be less sensational than the conspiracy theories but it's no less fascinating, so let's continue to question, to probe, to challenge, let's keep the pursuit of knowledge alive but let's also remember that in our quest for truth, we must always be guided by evidence and reason, and not be swayed by the allure of the sensational and the unverified. So, did Adolf Hitler die in his bunker in 1945, or did he escape and live out his days in obscurity? This question has fueled debates, sparked curiosity, and birthed various conspiracy theories that have persisted for decades. We've explored the early theories suggesting Hitler's escape from Berlin with Eva Braun, theories that were fueled by Soviet disinformation and later debunked by historians and scientific evidence. We've delved into the proliferation of these theories, the stories of miners posing as Hitler, and accounts of supposed escapes. We've seen how the discovery of a skull fragment in 2009, initially believed to be Hitler's, only added fuel to the fire when it was later confirmed to be a woman's. We've examined the power of belief, the tenacity of these theories, and their ability to thrive in the face of evidence. We've also looked at the skeptic's perspective, reaffirming the importance of critical thinking and skepticism when dealing with such theories. And finally, we've acknowledged our continued fascination with these theories, their links to occult or UFO beliefs, and their capacity to captivate our collective imagination. The persistence of these theories is a testament to our human nature, our inherent curiosity, and our insatiable quest for the truth. While the theories surrounding Hitler's death are intriguing, it's crucial to remember the importance of skepticism and critical thinking. Theories after all are just that, theories. They should be scrutinized, questioned, and tested against the available evidence. We should also bear in mind the potential dangers and consequences of unchecked conspiracy theories. We need only look at recent events, such as the Capitol riot, to see the potential for misinformation to incite violence and disrupt society. While we may never know the full truth, one thing is certain, the conspiracy theories surrounding Hitler's death will continue to captivate us for years to come. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the conspiracy theories surrounding Adolf Hitler's death. We've journeyed through the maze of speculation, mystery, and history, from the early theories to the continued fascination. It's a journey that reminds us that history isn't always as it seems, but our exploration doesn't need to stop here. There are countless other mysteries, untold stories and unsolved puzzles waiting to be discovered, and we'd love for you to join us as we uncover them. So, if you've enjoyed this video and want to dive deeper into the intriguing world of history, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, History Facts. We promise to keep bringing you engaging content that challenges what you know and encourages you to keep questioning. So, click that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos, and let's continue this journey together. Remember, history isn't always as it seems. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep subscribing to our channel.